I'm Dr. Deng. Hi, I'm Miss Wong. And we are the subject leads of the Science Department here at the Hurling Academy. Our mission as a Science Department has always been for our students to realise and discover science all around them in their everyday lives. Whether that's questioning, how does energy transfer from the food we eat into our bodies, to questions like, how did the universe begin? These are daring questions that we challenge our students to ask and find the answers to. So here at the Hurling Academy, we provide all our students with a rigorous science curriculum from Year 7 to Year 11. Yes, we have a very rigorous five-year plan from Year 7 to Year 11. In Key Stage 4, we offer two separate different pathways of doing science qualifications. We offer the combined science pathway and the separate science pathway. Our teachers spend a lot of time and effort into planning our lessons. We do regular assessment, regular checking for understanding and provide feedback to our students. Apart from lessons, we also have other opportunities for our students to experience science practical. For example, with the Science Club and also with the British Science Week, it will allow students from different year groups to engage in different science activities in the school year. Now let's have a look at how our actual science lessons look like. Particles move when we heat them up. Okay, we can have a look at that from this diagram. Let's have a think. How do we describe the movement of particles in a solid? Hold hands up. There's one word that we can use. Khadija. Vibrating. Good. Okay. Now, can particles in a liquid move more and less or less than the particles in a solid? What about the particles in the gas? Do they move more or less than the particles in a liquid? Okay. More. More. Okay. So let's answer this question. When we heat particles up, okay, so when we take them from a solid to a liquid to a gas, do they move more or less? More or less, Rama? More. More. Good. Well done. Particles move more quickly as we heat them up because they've got more energy. It's like the um, tip of your finger. You can see the skin. It looks like skin, like you're cracking, like the skin. Those are onion cells. Four students here to share their opinions about the science department today. So, first question: What do you enjoy most about science? Yet, um, I enjoy um, the practicals in science because I get to like engage with. Um, the practical and see physically like what's going on with the experiment and yeah. So second question, describe a memorable activity that you have done in science, Janai? Um, during science week last year, there was a range of experiments in the science corridor and there was this one experiment I did where they put soap in your hand and then they would light the soap with fire and then it would explode and I thought that was really cool but I was also Yeah, but it was really cool though. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, third question, what makes you feel confident in a lesson? Um, Jasmine? In a lesson, what makes me feel confident would be getting E praises for like my answers and stuff. Or yeah, uh, so when we get E praises, E praises are points we get. So if you get like loads of points, you can be entered into a raffle where uh, at the end of the year, maybe in or end of the term, you get an awards assembly. And in the award assembly, you can win things like prizes and stuff. So it can even be as big as a bike or as small as like a teddy or something. But it's really exciting and fun. So sometimes you may get them or not. But I think what makes me feel confident is getting e praises in lesson. That's great, thank you. So how do you know that you if you've made progress? Tia, do you have any something to share? I know I've made progress because you, if you're in science, you can move up or down a step. Like when I was in year seven, <coughs> I was in step one, and then I moved down, but then I revised for my assessments, and then I moved back up to step one. 